We are back with a great phone recorded video because it's just kind of easier right now. But today I wanted to talk about something that I've seen a lot of complaints on from the event showcase that we got this past week. And that is this right here. The mage's weird lightning ball type of ability here. People seem to hate it. They hate the visual effects on it. It just seems very out of place within the world. And I want to talk about it. So when we first saw this back in the mage reveal, I thought it was a pretty cool ability. I liked how in like dark areas it like illuminated the walls around you. It could be used as like a light source in a way if players wanted to do that. But at the same time, it is very bright and it is pretty massive in size compared to most abilities. And if you're in a raid with 40 people and 10 of them are mages all casting this ball, it's gonna be really annoying. As it was even just with one or two mages in that event showcase where they defend the caravan. But this goes back to that whole visual effects conversation that keeps popping up. Some people don't like the way Ashes of Creation presents their visual effects within the game. They say it's too much visual effects. Some people like it that way. Some people want more of it. And this, you gotta keep in mind that all of these effects have been said to be scalable. You're gonna be able to go into settings and tone down the lighting, tone down the particle effects and all of that stuff. At least we assume so. They haven't really shown us how much the scaling is going to have an impact right now. So we're gonna really have to wait and see on that. But I imagine it's gonna be pretty extensive because this has been feedback that Intrepid has been getting all the way back since Alpha 1 when they first showed those three archetypes for the mage the cleric and the tank. Because if you look back at those old videos, they are very bright, very sparky particle effects, flying everywhere type of abilities. And they've honestly, they've toned it back quite a bit since Alpha 1. It looks a lot better now than it did in the past. But with that being said, there's still a long ways to go within development. And honestly, I agree with a lot of the hate around the Mage Lightning Ball at that point. Like, I, again, I liked it solo when it was one person in that one area of the Riverlands taking down those flower guys. But in group gameplay, it just seemed so out of place with the rest of the abilities and the rest of the players. And it's with a lot already going on on the screen, it just adds way too much to it. And I think it's something that Intrepid really needs to take a look at and maybe reevaluate that ability a bit and not make it such a giant ball of lightning and maybe tone it back to just like lightning strikes in a circle or some sort of smaller lightning effect with lightning involved with it. Or again, this could be something that is scalable within the settings. Maybe you can take her off that shield around the lightning ball when we can tweak the settings so it doesn't seem so intrusive and players can play how they really like to see. So if you want to see other players with these massive abilities and these massive light shows going off, then fine. If you don't, then tone it down. But I do hope Intrepid separates it in a way where you can tone down your party's visual effects and keep your personal visual effects up there. That'd be a pretty cool way to go about it because some people like the flashiness from their character and they like seeing the power, but when it comes to other players on the screen, you know, maybe you don't want to see everybody's flashiness. You just want to feel powerful yourself. But I don't know the technical side of how much effort that would actually be for Intrepid to do if that's something they're already planning but it would be a pretty cool way for them to handle it. But otherwise, the rest of the abilities in the class kits we've seen so far, I am really enjoying. I really like the looks of them. All of them so far, the updated ones look great. The combat seems to be coming together now finally. It's not the perfect tab targeting hybrid combat system that we wanna see, but since Alpha 1 and even what we saw with the fighter and ranger last year, it's definitely made massive improvements and the lighting and all of that, like the effects in general seem to, for the majority of them, been toned down quite a bit. Again, we still have those couple one-offs like this lightning, the cleric one where the chains come up from the ground might be a little bit over the top too in some ways. Some people might not like that. I personally, I'm like impartial to it. I don't think it's really that cool, but I don't think it's terrible either. But yeah, that's just kind of where we are with that. It's the big thing to keep in mind, as I've said, is this is Alpha. We're heading into Alpha 2 next year, and all of this could change. Intrepid wants to hear your feedback on this, so just because there's a giant lightning ball that you may be hating on right now doesn't mean it's going to be there when the game launches. That is the whole point of Alpha 2 testing. For Intrepid to hear your feedback on the bigger scale things and even the smaller scale things like abilities, animation designs, and visual effects, and all of that. So, yeah, that's all I got. 
Let me know what you guys are thinking so far of the improvement we have seen to the visual effects come since Alpha 1, along with the ability and the combat. I haven't done a combat video in a while, so I might do something along the lines of that. But I want to know your thoughts on it. Let me know if you think it's coming in the right direction, if you think there's still a lot of room to grow on it. And hopefully soon we will have a PC again that can actually function and do stuff so I can stop recording on my phone. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and you have to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can then jump into the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, make sure you click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.